Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mitch, Orb Agent Canadian here with a video that will provide you guys with the basics to our multiplayer server so you'll know what to do when you join in. So basically guys, when you join, you're going to spawn right here on this nice little pedestal for you. And you'll notice several things immediately. You'll notice four signs here, and if you face the other way, again, placed on these walls. You'll notice a nice floating lava podium in front of you, and behind you you'll notice a little uh, entranceway to go down below. You'll also notice on either side of you two portals, so a total of four, all of which lead to the bottom of the map. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that right off the bat, and we'll put you down here. And uh, typically there's water flowing down, I'm not really sure what happened, I'll sort that out in a minute after this video. But basically, to get back up, you just step right into the water and we'll put you straight back up to the top of spawn. And the purpose in these portals is to allow you to get to the bottom safely and explore the town and maybe if you don't wish to teleport off far, you can actually just get on a little boat or uh, explore via land and set up a town or go excavating for resources so you can generate some money and play in the game. But that's sort of a, a story for another day. For now, I'm going to continue with the very, very basic necessities so you can get the, uh, I guess, like I said, the basics to our service. You understand what's going on and how to play when you first join. Now, let's say you walk forward, right? Now, you can see usually me during a live stream sitting on that podium just, just laughing at you guys, jumping up and down and and heroing off the edge. We actually have designated spots where you can and hero because in our in our previous server that was the most popular thing for some reason. So we made a little and hero block where you can you can try and get to it but you can't and then you fall to the bottom and die. Because like I said, for whatever reason you guys just loved to kill yourselves in the other server. So now I'm back here and uh, so you might see me there and uh, you can just talk to me whatever. We'll be chatting it up. Maybe I'll drop some free items so you can get started or whatever but let's say I'm not playing and you join or you just bought whitelist you'll notice these four signs which are really the essentials to our server right off the bat when you join you're gonna wanna check these out at least the command help the market and the telly station the casinos kinda just a for fun extra it's only actually active when Pete is ready to operate his casino because he actually is the one who created it and it's not something that happens automatically because we haven't found an updated casino plugin or slot machine plugin just yet we're still looking for one but uh, aside from that, let's move on and go to the command help room by right clicking on the sign. So now I'm in here, it will teach you some of the basics to our server in terms of what commands are available to you. So you can create your own town, join towns, expand your town, invite players to your town, etc, etc. Simply by reading these signs if you're too lazy to actually Google it. But I would honestly recommend you Google it because it's a lot easier to learn via those text documents on Google than these signs in the server. But you know, whatever suits your fancy, it's totally up to you. And now these signs will teach you how to use the economy system in our game, which is actually called iConomy, which is kind of cute, I guess, your little iConomy in the system. We're pulling out some Apple shit here, not really. Uh, it doesn't matter. So yeah, these are just the basics to that if, again, you're too lazy to Google it. But uh, again, I would recommend you Google it. It's a lot easier to do so that way. But these are just kind of teaching you the trading signs, which really aren't too important just yet because when you're new to the server, that's not really going to be your prerogative. You're going to be focusing more on gathering resources and selling it to the market. And now this is just some miscellaneous guides, and the only thing up here is uh, party systems where you can, I guess, uh, teleport to your parties by creating chats and uh, different lobbies within the game. And also the spawn, so you can get back to the main spawn by typing slash spawn or get to your home. And you can do set home to create your home in the first place. Not really sure why there's no sign for setting your home, but whatever. You guys, I'm sure, are smart enough to figure that out. You're intelligent human beings, I hope. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to spawn by typing slash spawn. And let's show you guys the market system that we have. When you click that warp sign, it'll put you right here so you can see the big old fancy title market. You can go ahead and venture inside. And uh, ideally, there will be buy craft signs in here if you're interested in picking up whitelist slots or um, in-game items for real money, which will in turn help support the server. And it's always nice to, uh, I guess, in a sense, donate to us because a lot of you guys ask about that and we don't have a formal donation system. So this is kind of your way you can do that while getting something in return. And now these are kind of curious little item shops that uh, you wouldn't really notice at first glance. I'm going to go ahead and switch my game mode so I don't ruin them. And what you do for these, you can actually buy these items. These are display mods by punching it, by punching it. Okay, it's not wanting to work for me. <laughs> Is this lag? R. Okay, it was just a little bit of lag. No big deal. I'm going to go ahead and increase my GUI scale so you guys can see what's going on here. We'll make this uh, We'll make this large. There we go. So now when you punch it, this is what will pop up. It will say, buy assistant, monster egg, which will cost you 1,000 swag bucks each. And if you want to buy it, you just simply enter the number of items you want to buy. Let's say I want one. I just purchased one mob spawning egg 
for 1,000 swag bucks. And this egg, I should really put a sign in front of it. I believe it's a chicken egg, just for the lols. And uh, I used it in this area, but it won't work because mob spawning is shut off in the spawn. So I wouldn't recommend wasting your eggs in central spawn area. And let's see, this sign is a golden apple. Let's go ahead and smack it. Also 1,000 swag bucks, which is the in-game currency for the game. Now, if you move forward, the majority of the signs are going to operate via the essential sign system, which is really, really simple. All you have to do is uh, right-click to buy. So I just purchased one diamond for $2,500 in the game. And let's say I wanted to sell it. I can sell it back for $2,500. Now, one thing you'll notice is that not all of the items in the market buy and sell for the same price. And that's to hopefully stimulate some competition between the uh, default unlimited item system in the marketplace and player-created shops. With that said, we still do have to adjust the market to compensate and I guess allow for more competition because player made shops are nearly impossible to create and actually have people go to you rather than the main market. But we are working on it. This is a, uh, a work in progress. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my GUI scale back to small and get out of 3D mode. Good God. And so yeah, the market includes all these items. I'll give a quick flyby. And while I do so, I just want to point out a couple of things. One, for example, is the wool. This is not actually wool. If you read the signs, these are dyes. That way you can create farms using sheep. So you can get wool yourself and uh, sell them to other players and hopefully make a nice profit that way. And uh, same thing with the, uh, the resources over here. If you read the signs above, it's a nice little warning that reminds you that these are not what they appear to be as terms of the items there. These are simply the the actual ingots or in diamonds case the diamonds these are not the blocks and ores as they appear there and same thing goes for the ones over here with the lapis lazuli redstone and coal now I'm back at spawn and I want to show you the final basic thing to our server which is the teleport station now at the teleport station you're welcome to read these signs but for uh, simplicity's sake and time's sake I'm just gonna run through it and uh, I show you really briefly what it does when you get to the top floor you'll notice that there is a PvP warp with a warning sign. Make sure you read these warning signs before you go ahead and right click because once you're here you cannot TP back and there might be somebody here like Bushman for example who will slaughter you and take your items. So since I'm a mod I can actually just use commands to get out of there but you will not be able to do that. And uh, like I said the sign reads you must either die or get to the finishing exit portal to escape the uh, PvP area. So if you want to go there make sure you bring some proper equipment so you can fight other players and hopefully take their items from them. And uh, if you're familiar with RuneScape or World of Warcraft or any of those games just think of it as like the wilderness or the uh, the PvP areas of those games. So now if we move forward, you'll see arenas, which are case sensitive. So when you try and join these, make sure you type the capital letters where need be. Now we have three arenas currently set up. The first is a gladiator arena, uh, cage, and pokey gym. Those are just the names of them. They don't really mean anything. They're all mob arenas, so they're player versus mob, not player versus player. The only player versus player area is the PvP city. And that's about it. Hey, Kyler, what's going on? I'm going to punch you. You're holding that wood. You think you're good because you're Skrillex? You're a bad kid. Uh, anyways, we're going to move on to the admin and public warps, which are really basic. It's the same thing that you see at spawn. The only difference is instead of having the tele station warp, it warps you back to spawn. So we get spawn, command, help, market, and casino. Nothing too fancy there. And the final area, for now at least, is the player-built town little teleport station section which is really simple to use. All you have to do is type slash T or slash town, then the, then the word spawn. It's really simple to use. All you have to do is type slash T or slash town, space the word spawn, space the name of the town. Now, this is, uh, if you read these signs, I'm not going to read it out to you, is going to be changing very shortly to increase the requirements to get in this because we have a ton of towns in the server. For example, if you look in the bottom left, I just did the command slash town list. And as you can see, there are way too many towns, most of which don't even have members. It's just one person creating a town, which is cool. If you just want to have your own property, that's fine. But I would recommend joining a bigger town so you can see more and, I guess, interact with other players. It's kind of more fun that way. Now, the two biggest towns in the server are Celadon and Olympus. They're two very different towns in scope. Celadon is very organized in the way it's set up. It's got roads. It's got uh, plots you can purchase versus Olympus, which is kind of just a free-for-all. Um, it's cool. There's a lot of members in it. People enjoy it, but it's a lot different and less organized. So it's kind of, you know, whatever your prerogative is, you would join that town or create your own, of course, or join one of the many others that are much smaller, but still awesome in their own regard. So to join them, I'll just give you guys an example. 
I'm not going to increase my GUI scale. You guys know the command. I'll read it to you again. Town, spawn. Let's go ahead and join Celadon just to give you a quick peek at uh, what I mean by the organization. Look at, look at the roads. You, you can see very quickly how organized this is in terms of the way it's set up. And it's, it's pretty awesome, this town. So is Olympus. There's a lot of cool towns within the server that I will be highlighting in the future. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and click back. And for some reason, that warped me all the way to the PvP arena. Not supposed to happen, but whatever. Um... So guys, that is the basics to the server. Um, I guess I will cover more things in depth. For example, warps, there's a lot more to it. And uh, same thing with the PvP arena, the market. A lot of things I'll cover more in depth. But for now, guys, that's it. Once you join the server, you should be able to figure some stuff out for yourself. Um, that's it, again, for the basics. I don't know why I just said that eight times. But uh, yeah, that's it for the basics. Good night, San Francisco. The water is pumping. Because I'm in my basement and the water pipe's right above me. Somebody turned on a sink, taking a shower, doing the laundry, doing the washing machine, the dishes, whatever. Don't care, dog. And I thank you all for watching. I would appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up. It really does help spread it. And uh, actually, guys, the server, depending on what time you're watching this, is now open for service. I've turned the whitelist off, so if you want to join, I'll actually do that right now so you can see the proof whitelist off. Anyone is welcome to join. And uh, I'm going to announce to the server that I just turned the whitelist off. And uh, so yeah, if you want to join for the next two hours, it will be open. I'm not going to be live streaming because I'm really busy today, but I will have it open and I'll be uh, checking my Twitter if there's any issues and checking up with my moderators and they'll let me know if there's any problems. But uh, yeah, if you want to join, you're welcome to do so and I will have it open for the next two hours. Right now it, it is about, let's say 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so it'll be open till 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's it guys, thanks a lot for watching. And once again, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and uh, I will be doing lots of these videos in terms of tutorials to help you guys understand how things work within our server, as well as updates in terms of when we add new plugins to our server, and updates, or I should really call these highlight videos for cool things you guys add to the server. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, and have a fantastic...